The COVID-19 pandemic has affected the lives of many people, especially the lives of the Filipinos. A lot of people suffered because their basic needs are not accessible and jobs are currently interrupted. Some individuals are also far from their families due to the enhanced community quarantine that has been implemented by the president. Because of these problems that are faced by many individuals, one of the solutions is to cry and to ask for help with their leaders. Some leaders responded positively and helped many citizens by distributing relief goods and cash incentives. But sadly, their leaders were insensitive and responded negatively in aiding the people who were affected by the coronavirus. One of the leaders who responded to the needs of the people in this time of crisis is Mayor B. Cusoto, the mayor of Pasig City. A lot of Filipinos are very satisfied with the quality of service that B. Cusoto is giving to the families living in Pasig City. He may be quiet and his projects may not be exposed to the media, but the people living in Pasig City feels his presence to the aid that he has given them. He acts quickly in knowing and in providing the needs of the people, especially the needs of the COVID-19 patients and frontliners. He exerts a lot of effort in prioritizing the health and safety of the citizens of Pasig City. Vico Soto has several projects to be able to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. First, he attended the rescue emergency disaster training center by preparing the red training center for the company to be able to respond quickly to the patients who are suspected or have symptoms of the COVID-19. Second, he ordered to disinfect the public areas in Pasig City. Markets, city hall, and public schools are some of the places that were disinfected. By disinfecting these public places, it can help in cleaning the city and in preventing the spread of the coronavirus. Third, we order the distribution of the relief goods. By distributing relief goods, it can help feed the people who are currently have no income and can't afford to buy food. Lastly, we order to turn the hotel into a quarantine facility. By doing this, the medical team will be able to accommodate more patients and they can strictly monitor the health of the patients. Leaders can also become heroes in this time of crisis. If the leader and the citizens will cooperate and unite with each other, the more we can quickly end the spread of the coronavirus. A leader must remain reliable and competent in this time of crisis to be able to prove that he is worthy of the position and the power that he has. By being a leader, we have the power to help and change the lives of many people. We should use this power to be able to make a positive change to the community we are part of. So, I hope that with all the projects of the mayor of the South distributed to the front lines in the house so and there is still a lot of ways for us to be able to help the people more if, even if we are just in our house but lastly prayer is a very powerful tool that we can use for us to um, help the front lines and the victims so that um, God will strengthen them and so that God will guide them, especially with the work of the frontliners. We all know that it's not easy, but I know that God will strengthen them and we should trust in God's plan that soon, this time, we will be able to stop this group. So, that 
result pray that this will end soon.